Okay, we were to another integral from the Berkeley Math Tournament 2020 tiebreaker number three. We have the integral from three to four of arc sine of square root of x over two dx. Okay, I think there's a few different ways to go with this. The first thing I did, I think, was just substitute for the input here to clean that up. So like u equals square root of x over two. But what I think I wanna try for this, maybe to save a step, I just wanna make a u substitution for the whole thing and see what happens. So we'll do u equal to arc sine squared x over two. And then I could take a derivative, but I think what I actually wanna do is rearrange this first. Taking sine on both sides, we end up with sine of u is gonna be equal to square root of x over two. Multiply by two on both sides. That's gonna cancel there. Then square it, we have a value for x. x is gonna be four sine squared of u. Now we'll go ahead and take a derivative. So for my dx value, this is just gonna become, first power rule is gonna be eight sine u, chain rule on sine u, that's gonna be cosine u du. And I think I will clean this up a little bit more because for two sine u cos u, that is gonna be the double angle formula for sine. So we can split it up four times two is eight. And so putting this together for our dx value, we're gonna have just four sine of two u du. So next, we'll just go ahead and substitute. First, plugging in 4. Square root of 4 is 2. So arc sine of 2 over 2. Arc sine of 1 is just pi over 2. Then plugging in 3. Arc sine of square root of 3 over 2. That's going to be pi over 3. Now, for this part, this whole thing is just u. And our dx is going to be 4 sine 2u du. I'll bring the 4 out front here. And now, this is just sine 2u du. But now that we have two functions, let's just do integration by parts on this using the DI method over here to the right. So we'll set up our table for the DI method. I'm gonna to wanna to differentiate this because it's gonna simplify down pretty nicely and then we'll integrate sine two u. So taking the derivative here, take the derivative once and we get one, differentiate one and this is gonna be zero. Integral of sine two u, that's gonna become minus cosine 2u over 2. Integrate one more time, and it's going to become minus sine 2u, pull out another 2, and now we're going to have a 4 here into the denominator. So then our solution is going to be here on the diagonals. The last row we've got is 0, so that's going to zero out that integral right there, and we just need to evaluate these diagonals. So when I set this up, let's kind of go out of order just because of the sign. So like here, for this diagonal, minus times minus is plus, sine 2u over 4 times 4. So the first piece here is just going to be sine 2u. The second part, we're going to have a minus. I'm going to distribute in the 4 to the 1 half here, the 4 over 2. That's just going to be a 2 in front, u cosine 2u, and we're just evaluating from pi over 3 to pi over 2. Plug in pi over 2. Pi over 2 times 2 is sine of pi. That's going to be 0. So let me write everything down. So that's going to be 0 there. Then here, minus 2, um, u is pi over 2, and then cosine 2 times pi over 2, that's going to be cosine of pi. I'll come back and evaluate in a second. Then plugging in pi over 3, here this is going to become sine 2 pi over 3, um, minus 2, plug in pi over 3, and then plugging into the last part, this is going to become cosine 2 pi over 3. Then just simplifying, like 2s are going to cancel here minus pi, cosine pi is minus one. So this is actually gonna be a plus pi right here. Then minus all this stuff. Sine at two pi over three, that's gonna be square root of three over two. Minus two pi over three. Cosine two pi over three, that's gonna be minus one half. So write it out like this. Here, minus times minus is plus. Twos can cancel here. I'm gonna distribute in the minus sign. We're gonna have, let's put it together. So this is gonna be pi, distributing the minus, minus pi over three here, minus square root of three over two. Putting that together for my final solution, we have just two pi over three minus square root of three over two, and that's it. Okay, there you have it. Another good one from the Berkeley Math Tournament. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.